Hi, I'm Lisa Nichols, and today I want to show you how to take an IR of some methanol. The first thing we'll do is remove two salt plates from the desiccator. The ones that I use are made of sodium chloride, and they're crystalline form, so they're transparent. But most importantly, they're transparent to IR in the regions that most organic molecules absorb. Then you'll take whatever sample you want to analyze, and you'll get one drop of that and put that on one of the salt plates. Here I'm using methanol. Then you take the second plate and you put that over top of the first. And so that spreads the sample out into a thin layer. You take that salt sandwich and you put it into the bottom part of a holder. Then the top part screws on. And you want to screw it on so it's just barely tight. You don't want to tighten it too much or you might crack the plates. So now I've got a thin layer of my sample between two salt plates. We'll bring that over to our instrument, which is this white box. And first we want to make sure that there's nothing inside the instrument, that it's empty. Because the very first thing you do is over at the computer, push on the background button. What that'll do is it'll take an IR of the air of the air that's inside of that instrument. And it's very quick. Because what you next do is then you open it up and then you put your sample in there. And you place it on that black holder. IR is going to be sent through the instrument, through the air, and through your sample. And so then you go to the computer and push scan. And by having that background saved, the computer will subtract the two spectra, which means that what it shows you is only the absorbances from your sample, not from the air. It's very fast, it's just a few seconds. And there's our spectrum with the nice OH signal. So then you can push labels and it'll show you the frequencies and you can later print it as well. When you're ready to clean the plates, here's what you'll do. You'll first open up the holder and remove the plates. You can just pour them onto a Kim wipe and then open up the sandwich and then take the dirty sides and wipe those onto the Kim wipes. That'll get the majority of the junk off. Then turn them upside down with the dirty sides up and we'll squirt a bunch of solvent on them to try to rinse off any, any residue. I'm first going to use some alcohol, some ethanol, and that's good. It dissolves a lot of things, especially polar things. So touching them on the sides, I can rub the surfaces on that wet Kim wipe, and then that will clean the surface off. Next, I get a second Kim wipe, and I put the plates on there because I'm gonna use a different solvent. So I lastly follow it up with pentane, and pentane is a very non-polar solvent, so anything that wasn't dissolved with the alcohol would dissolve with this. Pentane also evaporates quite quickly, so you, you have to deal with it quite quickly, but use the same method where you just wipe it around on the Kim wipe. And then when you're done, those salt plates go back in the desiccator for the next person.